Hello everyone, what is up? For today's video, I am going to be showing you how I edit my photos. I thought today's video would be kind of a fun video to show because everybody has their own little way that they edit their photos, whether that's for just Instagram or maybe they edit professionally. I am not a professional. I am still learning every single day. This video is not gonna be the perfect tutorial, but hopefully you could maybe pick up some new tips from watching me and I hope you all enjoy this video. The two softwares I use are Photoshop and Lightroom. I may only be using one of them today. We'll look at the photos together and see if we are gonna be using both, but Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the editing. Okay, so this is my screen. I use an external hard drive because I take so many photos and I have so many videos. I just organized the photos that were on my DSLR onto my computer and then put them into this folder called sample photos number two. This is kind of where I keep my favorite photos from the different shoots that we shot for that day. So if we exit out of that, I'm not gonna use Photoshop for this kind of photo. So I'm gonna go straight into Lightroom. I use Lightroom Classic. I know that there's also the Lightroom CC, which I have as well. So if we look here, I'm gonna click import because I want to import my photos that I just showed you. Here we go, sample photos too. And then you'll see they're all brought up here. I'm not gonna import all of them right now. I'm just gonna import maybe, um, We'll do these four. Eh, no, we'll throw in this fifth one. And then I'm gonna click develop. Now, something that happens is it thinks, it knows how I want to edit it. So it does that filter on it, but it's never spot on. So I always just click reset. So here I have my photo, I shoot in raw. So that kind of means all of the colors are as flat as they can be. And it allows you to manipulate the photo more once you have it in the editing software. So over here on the left, you can see my presets and presets are kind of like filters. Um, I also have made my own filters. Not all the filters are gonna work for the photos. I wanna try some of My Life is Ava's presets that she just came out with. So we're gonna see if any of these work and I'm just gonna kind of scroll through and see which ones are kind of like the vibe or feeling I want for the photo and then I will then edit them more. can clean edit 11 or Tokyo 5. Um, let's try the clean edits one and see what we can do with that. I want to test the exposure. Might bring it down a little. I don't want me to be too washed out because the photo's already really white. I do like my photos a little more warm. So I might bring that up. Something I love doing is if you just press R, you can crop it and I like to see how the photo would look more cropped. Kind of like it like that. Here's another little tip. This always happens to me because I'm very pale. If your photo or preset comes a little too orange, you can go over to luminance and then go to orange and you can bring it up or down. So see if I bring it up, it's gonna make me really white. The lower I bring it, the tanner it'll make me look but let's see what it was at before, negative 24. I was wearing fake tan in this photo, so I do look a little more tan than normal. So I think negative 24 is fine. Okay, this is where you can zoom in and see how sharp you want it. So if we go down, this is without any sharpness. That is what the preset came with, and then you can play around to see if you want it more sharp or less sharp. You can also zoom in on here and just pull this down and see if you want it more sharp. But sometimes you can overdo it on the sharpness. Obviously this is way too much. This is where I always struggle because I don't know if I should add grain or not. I think I like the halfway point of that, I guess. So I might leave it. And then this is looking pretty good. Here is a little, another little trick. If you go to edit, copy and then it'll bring up this and you just want to copy um, the edit because obviously if you were to put 
the clean edit back on that. It's gonna be different because I edited it a little more. So if you just press copy and then go to your other photo, that's how it thinks it should look. That does not look good. Just remove that, edit, paste. It's the exact edit. And then you just have to crop it. My camera's full frame, so if you crop it a little more, that would be crop sensor. And then do one to one. And then if we go to the next one, that looks cute. See how that looks. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. Now I'm gonna go back to the library and pick another photo to edit so you can see how I edit that type of photo. We're gonna go to library and then import again. So I might do these ones with the skateboard and I always end up editing more than I post or that I use because it's better to have more options in my opinion. So I really like this photo right here. So I'm going to mess with some of the presets, see kind of what they give me and then decide on what kind of vibe I want for this photo. I wanna crop it quickly to see how it looks zoomed in. I like that, but now I wanna add some grain back on that actually. That's a good amount. Maybe we'll go up to 20. And then I was wearing fake tan again this day and I actually am looking a little white. So just bump that up a little bit. This is looking pretty good. You can see here the sharpening. I'm gonna copy this and put it on another one and see if I like it. Let's see, it's pretty cool. So let's just see what happens if I make it a little warmer. And again, I'm editing a lot of photos, but that's just so I have options. And then I'll go back and decide which ones I wanna use. I don't know if the same preset will work for any of these other ones, but let's just paste it on and see what happens. That actually does look pretty good. I might um, actually bring up the exposure a little bit. These ones are a little dark. So I think I like exposure five on that. Then I'll do the same over here. Let's crop this again. It's kind of cropping out some of that stuff we don't really need. That's cool. And then we have one more. I don't know if I'll even use this one, but what's the hurt in trying it out? It actually does look pretty cool. And I think the exposure on this one is fine. Not all of your photos are gonna exactly be just a copy and paste. Every photo is obviously shot at a different time, so the sun could be in a completely different spot from when you took your first photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit one more set of photos for you all. Let's see which ones I want to edit. Let's do the one where I'm in the car and then develop. Obviously it's gonna do that thing again, no. So I'm gonna click on five and quickly go to the luminance and fix the skin tone and see if that will make this preset usable. I think that's close. It kind of has like a grayish overcast on it. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe if I bring in some warmth on this and my hair does look a little gray, so I'm gonna try and maybe bring up the white. So we'll see what that does. Maybe bring up the exposure, maybe not. You just kind of have to test it out and see. I. I'm going to see how this looks cropped. Cropping honestly makes everything better. I don't know how exactly I want it cropped, so I'm just gonna mess with it for a minute. I want to copy this and paste it to another photo to see if I kind of am liking it. If you're posting a carousel of Instagram photos, you probably want them to look pretty similar to what they are all looking like. So that's kind of why I paste and make sure that it works for all of the bundle of photos I'm using. Obviously, I might go back and edit these again or make some minor tweaks to them, but pretty much this is what I do to edit my photos. This did take me a little longer just because I was trying to explain everything that I do. I do look at Instagram as a portfolio or a resume almost because a lot of the jobs I book are from people viewing my Instagram account. So I do like to take some time and put effort into 
editing these photos. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this video taught you at least one new thing. Hopefully it was helpful. I'll talk to you all in my next video.